chief security architect at Dell, and I've been peripheral. I've been involved with. I do security, obviously, but I've been I've been involved with uh, DevOps for uh, three, four years now, and cloudy stuff like that. And uh, this panel came together when I was at another conference with Wim, and I said, "We need a panel about DevOps and risk and security." And he said, "Great idea. Let's make it happen." Right. Um, I'm Patrick Dubois. I'm kind of um, used to being. Shut up. Uh, I used to be uh, very involved in security, identity, and access management. And uh, a couple of years ago, I had the fun of starting the first DevOps Days actually here in Ghent. And since then, the world took off on DevOps. And that's probably why I'm on the panel. Um, so yeah. Um, everything what he said, except that my name is Chris. Um, my involvement in security was about a decade ago when I worked on the OSSTM, and then I gave up. Um, yes, yeah, sorry for that. Uh, but yeah, I was also involved in setting up the very first DevOps days in Ghent, and I'm still doing that. So, uh, my name is Alex Hutton. I am the director of operational and technology risk for. Uh, we're at like the smallest of the too big to fail banks in the United States, and uh, I guess operations risk. If, how many of you are familiar with the Basel Accord? Yeah, all right, great, thanks. So you know that operations risk has a, a technology risk is a silo within that context. So I have um, product and project risk, uh, as well as vendor management risk, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I like technology risk. I've been in uh, InfoSec uh, to some degree since 94, doing various things. Anything else? Oh, you have your own? I have one, too. Um, so maybe we should start with a quick definition, because um, maybe not everybody is familiar with the term DevOps. Is, raise your hand if you feel a little iffy. All right, now raise your hand if you feel very confident using the term. All right, so Patrick, since you coined the term, could you maybe give a synopsis? No, he didn't. OK, I'm not going to get into this right now. Patrick, would you give a synopsis? Um, so. The first thing is, there is no definition. And uh, the reason uh, is because um, once you write a definition down, I found that it's hard to expand and people take that as the whole world. So what it means to me, I can explain, so not a definition, um, it's collaborating across the traditional company silos to achieve a better business result. And that stems from the fact that I used to do different roles in an organization. And just because I happened to be in another part, the other part looked at me and said, well, you can't know anything about our side. Um, so it's that collaboration that I think is the key on DevOps. Uh, but with it, there comes a lot of techniques and technology, um, like in Agile, um, the collaboration part and the talking and getting people together was complemented with uh, TDD and all that stuff. So in DevOps we have things like um, collaboration, automation, um, monitoring and metrics, and sharing. That's the CAMS acronym. It's not a definition, but it's kind of the embodiment of a lot of things happening uh, inside the DevOps space. You forgot the S actually stands for security? It's sharing. Isn't that the same? So yeah, I, I actually wanted to introduce the acronym this week as cracking, audit automation, and monitoring and security. But CAMS as culture or collaboration, automation, metrics, and sharing, that's also a very good definition for me. Um, I see it as a process to get something very complex um, to market and with customer feedback so that you can iterate and evolve uh, as quickly as possible. I agree with what Eastbrook said. Um, but I want to add on that. From a security perspective, I think the, the most important part for me is, is, is the culture aspect, um, and particularly the, the actually working in, with other people without being an asshole. Okay. And you know, I'm a, I can be an asshole. I freely admit it. Um, but as an industry, we can be really bad about working well with others. We don't, we've had, I mean, who has seen the t-shirt at DEF CON or anyone else says, 
doesn't play well with others and people wearing that with pride. That's not a good thing when you're trying to get a product out the door and trying to actually, actually work with people to get things done. And I see you know, DevOps as being the antithesis of that and actually trying to get things done you know, the right way. Okay, so that's um, four different takes on that. I would add something slightly different with a slightly different angle. Um, I think the culture aspect is very important, but um, having done a lot of operations stuff, more on the defender side, I have seen so many times this, in your talk last night you talked about uh, not having these sort of special case systems and just being able to like homogenize stuff. Um, there is so much ad hoc cowboy sysadmin and that network operations out there. What I see is like taking a scientific approach where you define what you're going to do and then you measure it and then you make refinements. Yeah, very much as, as a risk manager, I very much embrace that because um, when you are when you're gathering intelligence about a, 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 a not to be technical, exogenic and endogenic, but outside information, intel that you want to process, threat intel, and so forth, and inside um, the endogenic, which is information about our systems, losses, and so forth, uh, there are two things uh, when you when you build out your KRIs or metrics programs that you need to really worry about. One is visibility, can I see everything? And the other is variability, deviation from expect, expected norms. And in a large enterprise, variability, you know, most, most enterprises just throw up their hands, they're like, variability will happen, right? We don't know, you know, we don't know now, we don't know this, nothing gets, to, stuff gets out to production, we have no idea what it is and who owns it. I see DevOps as a great way, as a risk manager, to understand all of the pertinent information around an asset object that I need, well, endogenic information. Okay, so one thing that I've heard many times when I try to sell the DevOps idea to security-minded folks is this sort of notion like, oh yeah, that works fine for Etsy and these kind of like web application companies that are all like hip with their new Ruby stuff, but uh, that's not gonna work for my environment. Um, like, I know specifically two guys come from more of the developer world. What could you say to this audience, like, if you're working in a complex environment, maybe with some legacy systems and so on and so forth, about kicking off that cultural change and what the payback could be? That was rambling and unprepared. Well, why would it be different um, that what are your two person a thousand person or a new shop or a legacy shop, why would collaboration hurt you? If that's the core of DevOps, like what, what would make that difference? So as a security person, um, from experience, I know uh, we're often treated as a silo, um, as the one saying yes or no, kind of like a sysadmin saying yes or no. But um, getting the dialogue going for whoever in the company, like that's not unique in whatever company you are. Like that dialogue is what drives it. You can maybe think about the infrastructures they're building, whether that's not for you or not your level, or if you're managing only two systems, whether you should have the same capacity as doing a thousand systems. But at the core, the collaboration aspect, that's not different. And what tools or whatever level of the tools or whatever level of the concepts you apply will vary on your situation. But again, collaboration, that's not the difference. So yeah, the biggest part is about culture. And a culture can be in big and a small organization. It's gonna be much more difficult to actually get culture, good culture in a big organization, but it's still possible. But the biggest problem with culture I run into in large organizations is the fact that they are not a group. They're just a bunch of people setting up a tier for each other. Both are working together and on security and all that kind of things. And if you, one of the remarks, yeah, we cannot do that because we are not an online company and we're not doing this and we have regulations and all that stuff. A lot of that boils down to, well, yes, you have regulations, but how are you dealing with them? Are you actually literally have to follow the rules or do you just need to prove a 
couple of things and you need to prove how you work. And lots of times that burns down to breaking down security theater and actually implementing real security. And I think that's a good opportunity for everybody.